competitors will learn safety management and how to use tools for electrical installations. The purpose of this training is to learn how to properly wear protective equipment as per the work process and secure safety with a multimeter when power is on. Shall we have a look at materials and preparations? Here we have technical description of electrical installations of word skills, protective equipment and a multimeter. Let us have a look at the key points of this task. First, select proper protective equipment according to the work process of electrical installations. Second, be familiar with how to properly use the multimeter after supplying power. Please double check preparations in detail and personal protective equipment to be ready for the task. Hand tools may be brought to the competition, but the use of modified or special tools may be restricted. Even if you have the same items as the tools given in the competition, the tools provided in the competition should be used first. Depending on the venue of the competition, the manufacturers of the provided electric and other general tools may change. As it is prohibited to use electric and general tools other than the ones provided by the competition, check the infrastructure list before participating in the competition. Let us have a look at the precautions to perform the task in this training. First, wear protective equipment suitable for materials handled during work to prevent injury. When working with steel, wear long-sleeved work clothes to protect the injury of the arm and safety glasses. Gloves should be worn to protect the operator from foreign substances generated during work. Hand cuts may occur when not wearing safety gloves. Eye damage may occur due to foreign substances when not wearing safety glasses. When using a heat gun, bending of conduits, leather gloves should be worn to prevent burns caused by high heat. Working with a heat gun without wearing leather gloves can cause skin burns due to high heat. When using a rotary tool, battery drill, jigsaw, etc., it is essential to wear a dedicated glove to prevent the gloves from getting sucked into the rotating tool. Never use cotton gloves. Second, before using the multimeter, make sure that the target equipment has been energized and wear protective equipment before proceeding. Electric shock accidents may occur when using the multimeter without protective equipment. Accurately learn each function of the multimeter to prevent accidents. Even if the type of tester is different, the units expressing the function are the same. So, be well familiar with the units and select the function according to the situation. Check out the description of each function. Please check what you are going to perform on this task. For the safety of workers, work clothes should be worn at all times during all operations. Long-sleeved work clothes must be worn as there may be scattering foreign substances during steelwork and material processing. If you don't have long-sleeved work clothes, you can use sleeve protectors. When conduct noise-making work, wear earplugs to protect hearing. If you need to communicate with colleagues and officials during work, remove the earplugs. After communication, put on the earplugs again. Safety shoes should be worn at all times to prevent injuries caused by falling objects. 
Also, safety shoes should be worn to prevent injury from treading on sharp materials such as screws. Since sharp materials are used for steelwork, work clothes must be worn to prevent cutting accidents. Also, make sure to wear earplugs to protect your hearing as drills and jigsaw produce loud noises. When wearing non-safety shoes, metal shavings on the floor after material processing can be embedded into the bottom of the foot, so it is necessary to wear safety shoes before starting the work. Use safety gloves to prevent cutting on sharp edges during steel processing. If leather gloves are too thick to use, use working gloves. If you do smoothing, deburring, be careful since the substances attached to the steel can cut your hands easily. Since the heat gun has a high temperature of 500 to 600 degrees Celsius, it may cause serious burns when it touches the body, so wear work clothes to protect it. When using a heat gun, keep wearing gloves for safety. Wear leather gloves before starting the work because the temperature of the heated object is very high and there is a risk of burns if cotton or general work gloves are worn. Work clothes must be worn when working with a heat gun because it can cause burns if work clothes are not worn. Work clothes must be worn when processing materials using rotary tools as the scattering substances may cause damage to the competitor. In particular, stepping on sharp and pointed foreign substances that fall on the floor can cause injury, so safety shoes must be worn before starting the work. When using cotton gloves while working with a rotary tool, the gloves may get sucked into the rotating part, so dedicated gloves must be worn. When testing energized equipment, it is necessary to wear insulation gloves in case of electric shock. Use caution when working since an electric shock can occur not only due to the contact of the hands, but also the arms. When testing high voltage power, wear insulation gloves and check the tester's mode accurately before proceeding with the work. Check again the key points of the task we've worked on in this training. So far, we have learned about the safety management and tool usage required for electrical installations. Thank you for your hard work.